everyone, welcome back. My name is Darnell Shoemaker, and I had this idea of trying to do like an ocean scene. So, the middle part, I want to be the water, and i um, going to do kind of, I want like a marble look. I just, flowy, and I did experiment with the flower pot that I gave my mother for Mother's Day, and some of it looked like water, but honestly, I think the the motion needs to be going horizontally. So I taped off the top. I needed something to grab without messing up the pot too bad. And also this is going to be the sky if it works out. If not, I'll just do something to it to keep it. Um, the bottom is where the sand's going to be. And I didn't want a straight line. I have not done this before, so I have some sand ready to go, but I didn't I didn't uh, know if it would show um, the paint underneath it, um, a texture, and, and maybe it would, and maybe even that would look good, but, um, so I didn't want to cut it in a straight line, so I did some little waves up and down, and then I did tape off um, the bottom as well. So, I've been thinking about this idea for a little while, and I approached my husband with how do I get it into the position um, that I need it to be in without making my arm hurt because <laughs> it did on the last one so he came up with this idea here cut a block of wood and it's pretty level this way so I know the paint's gonna run, but it will give me time, I think, um, and, and keep it all from maybe doing a whole bunch of zigzagging, but it'll give me time to turn it and um, put the design in it as I go. Um, so I don't know how it'll turn out. We'll have to see. Um, I'm gonna coat this in white and I'll be back. Get some gloves on too. Okay, so I got this um, smeared white around it, and I'm not sure if I need more down there or not, but I'll just put some in my spoon. Uh, the theory is I'll take the color that I want, and I'll run it down and turn the pot, and hopefully I get kind of a marble look. <laughs> I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Okay, so I want to start down here, so I want to start with the lighter color. So first thing I'm going to do... And in one part of this, I'm going to add um, a little bit of silicone. Okay. Um, that white that has silicone in it. And maybe that will be kind of like the frothy area where the water hits the sand. And that's what this is right here. We're going to do another squirt of this. You know what? I don't even know if you can see this. Oh, yes, you can. All right. Let's try this one. It's going to let it run off and kind of do its thing. I may need to add more, but I'll turn it around here in a minute and see if it went to the other side or if I need more. Well, as of right now, that looks really neat. Okay. All right. cells going on in there. Ooh, it went that way. Okay. Let's see how much further. Ah. Okay. Well, we'll just keep going, adding colors, and looks like when it's on the bottom, it's going to gravitate to the center. So... Oh, 
I'm going to pop this up higher because this this side I'll have just one side then that's doing that unless I already unless it already ran up the center on the other side already I wanted to see here ah I don't know what to do Oh yeah, a little bit. Oh, don't get wonky on me. Okay, let's see. Let's put you back down. I want this on the top. Okay. So we're going to go with a, just a little bit darker. Actually, that first color, sorry about that, is Artist Loft Turquoise. And then this is Artist Loft Turquoise and... It also has a little bit of deco art peacock pearl in with it and gives it kind of a green tint. So we're going to try it with that. Oh, let's do this. Could probably just squirt it right on the pot. No, this mixes it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna move up.
Okay, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. Give it a couple hours, let it dry, take off the tape. And then next time you see me doing this, I will be doing the sky. Bye.